There you go. And what grade is that? Boom. Uh, that had to be 11 or 12. I'm so guessing then, that was 12. What's your last name? Simsek. S-I-M-S-E-K. Guys, we're at my uh, old elementary school here. I thought today would be a good day to go get some more flashbacks and uh, see my old school. Haven't been here in a while. And, wow, trees, already it's different. But there's a lot of um, programming, conditioning that happened as a young kid here. Lots of pressure from people. Lots of belief systems that basically uh, started very, very young. And, and it's really important that we do regress. We go back in the day when we think about, you know, where are these beliefs coming from? Where are these thoughts coming from? You know, are they coming from my parents? Are they coming from friends, kids? You know, what was happening back in the day? But uh, it all started here. I mean, with these guys here, it all started here. been a people person but then there's always this side of me that was very confused I was always wondering why why were my friends not helping me more why were my even my parents why were my teachers you know why were they not reaching out towards uh, helping me a bit more as I went through uh, through adulthood you know so many people suffering from anxiety use these words such as coping or managing. You know, the words I used to, I, I used to use were very similar. Coping, managing, getting by, right? I changed my words to things like eliminating, crushing, destroying, overcoming, you know. When I started to use these kinds of words, I realized that words are powerful. Words are very powerful. So the words I used as far as, hey, you know, I'm talking to Peter. Peter, you know, how do you learn how to cope with anxiety? How can you manage your anxiety? I mean, there is a ceiling there. There's a ceiling there, right? When you talk about coping and managing, there's only a certain distance that you can go. If you're talking about eliminating it out of your life, destroying it, never having it appear again in your life, you know, that's a completely different route than coping and managing. tell them to uh, be yourself and don't get uh, excited and don't worry for anything just uh, keep it up and listen to the anxiety guy anxious guy thank you mom there you go you heard it straight up from mom yeah all right we were in my elementary school now we're in my high school it's gonna happen what's gonna happen Great to have the alumni come back. We have an alumni basketball game coming up. Is that right? Yeah, May 4th. About 200 people coming. Wow. That's you? <laughs> what grade is that? Boom. Uh, that had to be 11 or 12. I'm guessing so then, that was 12. What's your last name? Simsek. S-I-M-S-E-K. Boom. Check him out with the jersey. 17. I don't know. What did it say? What did it your say? Your words. Tennis professional, something like that. My, sen my sentence at KG <laughs> is finally over and the good life is finally beginning. I would like to thank my wonderful mom and dad for everything they've done for me throughout the years. I also want to thank the weight room, the tennis crew, <laughs> and my girl Kate, who has always been there supporting me in tennis and life. Love forever. That's so good. There you go. <laughs> That's really funny. Well That's really funny. Thanks, guys. Oh, you keep that. I'm not going to take that away. But yeah. Couple stories there for you guys. That's awesome. All right, I'll see you around. All right, I'll give you a buzz. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank I'll you. be there. Thank you. I'm at the point in the last four years where I'm I'm living mindfully. I'm living fully. I'm living a, a life where I'm really proud of, and I can help my son and I can help my fiance and other people as much as I, I want to. So I urge everybody out there to step outside their comfort zones to 
make a contract with themselves and to say, you know what, I'm at the point of no return. I'm not going to live the life that people want me to live. I'm not going to live the life that my parents wanted me to live and all that. You know, when we talk about other people, like I mentioned, there's so much stress around what people will think, our environments, our situations and everything like that. But we cannot let that affect us. We cannot let that affect us. We've got to create the pe person that we want to become. We've got to mold this person. We've got to construct this person. You know, a leg, a broken leg will heal in time, but anxiety, you cannot just give it time in order for it to heal. You've got to take action. You've got to do things differently. Success starts to flow, things start to change, guys. So, I'll see you in the next vlog. Love you guys. Remember that you're more than anxiety. Bye, guys.